Hello everyone, and I am Yoshimi. After the release of my video essay on Cemetery, I found myself still wanting to do a little bit more content discussing one of my favorite artists. So tonight, I am bringing you all back to the Haunted Mound one last time to talk about all the obscure knowledge, lost media, and forbidden lore with this iceberg that I believe was created by Reddit user he don't fuck with Molly on the r slash Haunted Mound subreddit. With that being said, this will be one of my last iceberg videos for a while as I need to prep for the video specials for this year's Yoshimi's Halloween 2021. So I wanted to talk about something I love while not having to do a lot of research. I hope you all enjoy the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notifications on and check me out in the social links below. All right, with that, let's hop right into tier one. Slaughterhouse is the first track of the first Rainbow Bridge mixtape by Cemetery. The track itself features a sample from the song Like Falling Leaves by Australian black metal band Woods of Desolation. There is a music video that accompanies the song and features Cemetery in his true religion best in what can be assumed to be the titular Slaughterhouse. For many fans, this may have been the first song that introduced them to the world of the Haunted Mound. Ha refers to the Grave Man's infamous calling card belted out before many of Cemetery's songs and has been a mainstay with many of the Haunted Mound artists and fans alike. You can see people commenting the phrase under music videos, tweets, and Instagram photos alike. <laughs> Heffalumps is the first track on the Cemetery X Ghost Mountain mixtape, 100 Acre Wrist. The track title is a reference to a heffalump, an elephant-like creature seen in the children's entertainment series Winnie the Pooh. The song also has a music video accompanying it, but it was unlisted by Cemetery some time ago, yet has since been uploaded to YouTube by fans. The only official recording of the song still remains on the Haunted Mount official YouTube channel, as well as Cemetery's personal Spotify. However, this is subject to change in the near future. Haunted Mount Arc Archive is an entry I could not find much info on, however it is or was an archive for all the songs and music videos that have been deleted or unlisted. Nevada is the second track off the first Cemetery X Ghost Mountain mixtape, Grave House. The term Nevada and the references to box cutters is a direct reference to the 2004 Seisubo slashing in which a Japanese student murdered one of her classmates with a box cutter utility knife. This became kind of a popular meme on image boards dubbing the killer Nevada Tan because of a university of Nevada jumper the killer was wearing in the school photo. This is one of the few music videos from the Ghost Mountain era that are still up on uh, the Cemetery channel as of right now. Bunny Suit is the third song off the Rainbow Bridge 1 mixtape. The track features a sample from the song Depresso by Smashing Pumpkins and features Cemetery and Ghost Mountain in the eponymous Bunny Suits. It's one of my favorites off the mixtape and the music video can still be viewed on Cemetery's channel. New Rocks is the fourth track off the Gravehouse mixtape and features another music video that is still up. The track's title is a reference to the new rock brand of shoes that were made in Spain in 1978. The shoes are known for their heavy and bulky design, being mostly made for goth fashion interests, though they have other shoes that do not fit the goth design. The Pain video refers to the music video for the fourth track on Rainbow Bridge 1. This video was infamously taken down off YouTube and has been put up and taken down multiple times, leaving it as one of the more obscure music videos in the Haunted Mounds catalog, despite it being one of the most popular at the time. Starting off tier 2, Creeping Through the Woods is the 8th track on the Rainbow Bridge 3 mixtape and the most recent music video Cemetery has dropped. However, Creeping Through the Woods was actually one of the earliest singles to drop prior to the release of Rainbow Bridge 3. There is no unique sample here, from what I know it's just a really good track off the tape. GTFO with that Drain Gang bullshit refers to a phrase Cemetery said in an Instagram live one time. He really doesn't like being compared to Swedish art slash music collective Drain Gang and especially doesn't like being compared to Blade. This reminds me a lot of how music fans would treat experimental or noise-influenced rap artists by calling them death grips. Cemetery interviews refer to the fact that Cemetery does have a few written interviews from sites such as Underground Vampire Club and Underground Underdogs. These offer a lot of insight into the artist's creation process, influences, and just general knowledge about Cemetery himself. They are really interesting reads, and you can find them all yourself in the Interviews tab on the Haunted Mound subreddit. Red Mist refers to both the fifth track off the Rainbow Bridge 2 mixtape 
as well as a common theme Cemetery incorporates into his lyrics. This could mean a couple of things. It could describe Cemetery's rage and anger for humanity, as well as for bloodstains after a massacre. This could also possibly be a reference to the popular creepypasta Squidward's suicide, but it is pretty unlikely. Skin Carver is the 13th track off Rainbow Bridge 3. This is also a single that was released about a year before the actual release of the mixtape. The track also features a My Bloody Valentine sample and remains one of the more listened to songs off of RB3. Dear God is the fourth track off the 100 Acre Wrist mixtape. While Ghost Mountain is no longer a part of Haunted Mound, Cemetery has mentioned that he plans to remake the song and make a music video to accompany it, so we may get a Dear God 2 in the near future. Chainsaw Party is another single released prior to RB3 in order to hype up the album. It features a really dope music video and a sort of club vibe beat to it making this a really hype party song. The Silent Hill sample refers to a sound you may have heard in several Cemetery songs. Many have wondered the origin of the sound effect, yet few know where it originates from. The sample is actually a sound effect that comes from the PS2 survival horror game Silent Hill 3, in which you can hear it during this part of the game. Dogs on the Rainbow Bridge cover refer to the two dogs that appear on each of the album covers of the Rainbow Bridge trilogy. According to an interview with the Grave Man himself, these are his dogs. Stating in that interview, the dogs on the cover of the Rainbow Bridge tapes I live with currently, and I wanted to immortalize them forever. I think we'll live forever on the Rainbow Bridge when we are all gone. The Haunted Mound Discord is a server for all Haunted Mound updates and a place where fans can congregate to share music, art, discuss topics, and more both Haunted Mound related and not. With tier 3 we have Forever Box, which is a single by Cemetery featuring cloud rap and experimental rap artist Ego Mackie. It is a pretty obscure entry in Cemetery's deleted discography and is currently unknown why it was taken down. The Pain video in 1080p refers to the amount of times the Pain video was re-uploaded to YouTube after its initial takedown, leading to many low quality re-uploads and even becoming a small meme in the Haunted Mountain community and the original 1080p version being seemingly lost media. Herald the Tree is the official mascot of the Haunted Mound, appearing on many of the releases, merch, and promo pics. Harold embodies the entire essence of the Haunted Mound, and without him, there is nothing. The Red Ops Pain Edit is an interesting entry on this iceberg, referring to an obscure remix of 21 Savage's Red Ops made by Cemetery. This track also features a Silent Hill sample, this time being the song Not Tomorrow off the Silent Hill 1 OST. It's ha, not ah. You can hear the H whenever someone pronounces it. For this entry, Coil is a single by Ghost Mountain and one of his rare pieces of solo work. This track only features Cemetery as the producer, and this is a favorite amongst Ghost Mountain fans. Toy Barn is one of the many deleted singles by Cemetery. It is a banger and features some funny but catchy lyrics that I often find myself quoting a lot. The Johnny Cutter Depop refers to Cemetery's Depop that you can go to right now and buy stuff from him. Mostly consists of true religion clothes that he doesn't wear anymore. There are some notable articles of clothing here such as these pants, this affliction flannel, and even this denim jacket that was worn on the cover of Rainbow Bridge 2. The Toolbox remaster refers to a 2020 remaster of the track of the same name off Rainbow Bridge 1. It's pretty similar compared to the original but has a little bit better mixing and you can hear Ghost Mountain and God's Wisdom's vocals better. DJ Sorrow is the mysterious entity that haunts the area of the Haunted Mound, never being seen or heard, only rising every so often to host fire murder anthems. In reality though, DJ Sorrow is just one of the many aliases of Cemetery. Falls is a song by a rapper Juju featuring Lil Emo and produced by Cemetery. It is a far cry from anything Cemetery has produced and it's quite interesting to hear. Also this track released in 2018 possibly making it one of the earliest tracks Cemetery publicly worked on. I could be very wrong but the OG Gravehouse cover is possibly this one right here on screen. It's very strange conceptually and doesn't really fit 
fit the album's sound at all. The My Chain edit refers to a remix of My Chain by Gucci Mane produced by Cemetery. It's really good and pretty hype, I'd throw it on while DJing a party. Going into tier 4, I Hate Myself and World Is A Fuck are two deleted songs by Cemetery. Ghost Mountain features on both and they could have been taken down after the Ghost Mountain departure from the label. Cemetery supports LGBT is actually true, he supports them uh, wholeheartedly making references to it in songs about slapping neo-Nazis and transphobes, he shouts out Antifa, and he just generally has good morals that, you know, everybody should be able to relate to. My Teddy refers to another one of the deleted songs by Cemetery. I believe this was left unfinished, but remastered and re-released sometime after. Oscar 18 is an Irish producer and the first solo producer to be signed to the Haunted Mountain label. He has only produced songs for Buckshot at this time, but we may see more of his work on Cemetery's new tape or a Haunted Mount collab tape. The Trevor Death scene refers to a strange sample used in the Forever intro off of Rainbow Bridge 2. The sample is of the ending scene of GTA 5 in which Trevor is killed in the optional ending. This is even weirder as that the sample has the Xbox achievement sound that you can hear very clearly in the background. Hackle Down is a photographer, graphic artist, music video director, and one of the newest members of the Haunted Mound. He filmed the video for Necromancer and has new music releasing soon. Flowers is one of the taken down songs by Cemetery and Ghost Mountain. Ghost Mountain Deactivated refers to the fact that Ghost Mountain deleted his Twitter after his exit from Haunted Mound. Someone else took the username so no one could take it and impersonate him. JJ Valhalla is a graphic designer and clothing designer associated with the Haunted Mound. He has been working with Cemetery on clothing since at least December 2020, but got signed in March of this year. Nine Scarecrows is an unreleased song by Cemetery and American Witch House artist Alusen. This is one of the rare appearances of a female guest artist that Cemetery has worked with. Disorder is an interesting standout of the unreleased songs since it is a cover of the Joy Division song of the same name. It's really interesting to hear Cemetery and Ghost Mountain do something like this, but it's not one of my favorites. Toolbox OG may just refer to the Toolbox version that was on the Rainbow Bridge release. OG Chainsaw Party refers to a snippet from an Instagram livestream by Cemetery in which he teases a version of Chainsaw Party that is a little different from the RB3 release. The only thing different from this release version is the really gnarly chainsaw sound effect at the beginning and there is no DJ Sorrow tag. Starting off tier 5, Limp Pumpo 9520 is a rare Cemetery DJ mix done by Cemetery for the final Limp Pumpo rave on September 5th of last year. The mix features a lot of interesting tracks including Creeping Through the Woods, If I Woke Up by God's Wisdom, and the Cemetery edit of Monkey Nuts by RX Peso, which we will talk about later down this iceberg. Hackled Down has a Tumblr that he hasn't been active on in a little while. Features a lot of photo edits and art similar to the Haunted Mount style. Not Like Us is a rather infamous drop in Cemetery's career. The track features both Cemetery and artist Angel Winter. When the song dropped, Cemetery was not pleased by it at all and wrote the rather infamous email to Angel telling him to delete the song and never speak to him again. For good reason too. The song is a fucking mess. Angel Winter's vocals have weird effects layered on top of each other, the beat is generic, and Cemetery's verse is kind of meh, and Angel even cuts off his verse early at one point, so it's understandable why he would want it deleted. Hail Mary is a song off of Cemetery's War Boy EP. Before the song was on the project though, it actually made its first appearance on Cemetery's mix for Ghost Mountain's cancelled Slash Pile radio project. It's different from the War Boy version in that it's a lot faster and has a little bit more of a punk influence than the one that was officially released. Least. Slash Pile Radio was a cancelled radio project by Ghost Mountain. The project was sort of this radio station that played a lot of different types of music from underground rap, black metal, ambient music, and more. There are a few mixes of what was played including two mixes by Ghost Mountain and one by Cemetery. In some of the mixes, there is also rare glimpses of Ghost Mountain speaking. Solvent Abuser is the former artist name of Haunted Mound rapper Buckshot. He has a Tumblr named Solvent Abuse and it features a lot of art that is aesthetically in line with Haunted Mound's image. Cop Killer is a 2019 track by Cemetery and Ghost Mountain and is kind of a lot like if Chief Keef rapped over a Caramel Dancing type. It's a banger and one of my favorite of the deleted songs. Burlapper is the former name of Hackledown and it is unknown to many why he dropped the name and changed it. Elmer Fudd is an unreleased freestyle track by Cemetery. It is one of the first of the unreleased or deleted tracks I listened to. As mentioned before, the Angel Winter slash Cemetery beef was pretty bad in terms of Haunted Mountain history. The Angel Winter email refers to the email in which Cemetery 
Cemetery sent Angel demanding him to take that god-awful song down. Cemetery allegedly proceeded to blast Angel on Twitter, block him, unblock him, and tell him to never speak to him again. Pretty is another song by Juju that was produced by Cemetery. Ready for the House Dragged refers to a remix of the song Ready for the House off of Grave House. Drag or Dragged is a form of remixing popular amongst Witch House circles. However, I could not find the drag version of Ready for the House. Maybe it is on the Haunted Mount Discord somewhere. Duster Huffer refers to both a track off of Rainbow Bridge 2, as well as a private Instagram account that is followed by Cemetery. Starting Tier 6, Buckaroo is a deleted song by rapper Rip Eternal and was produced by Cemetery. The Limp Pumpo 420 rave refers to another DJ mix Cemetery did. The mix features the My Chain edit, a Chief Keef dipset Cemetery mashup, and more. Psy K refers to an artist that did the guitars on the track I'm a Sinner off of RB3. Uh, not much is known about who they are. I believe the phrase I listen to Chief Keef uh, refers to the fact that somebody asked Cemetery one time if he listens to Blade and he said no I listen to Chief Keef and I think it's on an Instagram live stream but I can't remember which one exactly. Cemetery has an active Tumblr where he posts all kinds of art, photos, and even answers some questions from fans and haters alike. Cemetery's Spotify likes refers to some of the songs that Cemetery may be influenced by or listens to when he's not making his own music. There's a lot of good stuff on here like Black Cray, Young Lean, Brain Bombs, The Body, Dark Throne, and more. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Silhouette is a song released by American singer and artist Ellison and is the second Cemetery collab they have released together. The Monkey Nuts edit refers to a remix by Cemetery that appeared on the Limp Pumpo 9520 rave mix. With tier 7, I don't know what this could refer to exactly, but this is the DJ Sorrow logo as seen on the DJ Sorrow Twitter account. This could also maybe refer to the mystery surrounding the origin of who did the DJ Sorrow tag. Many think it is Shadow Hayes who did the original Trapaholics mixtape tags, and it's most likely him with the only objection being when asked, Hayes had no recollection of doing the tag. Guitar by Ghost Mountain? Apparently Ghost Mountain has done some guitar work on some of the songs he and Cemetery did. A notable one may be skin carver though it is not confirmed. I don't know directly what Ghost Mountain Mix is referring to, could be the slash pile mixes he made or the fact that most of the cemetery deleted song mixes are ones with Ghost Mountain. I have no idea what Megadeth birthplace means, maybe somebody could let me know in the comments below, I guess it's because they're both from California, so I don't know if it was said somewhere or not, let me know in the comments below. The Cemetery X JJ Valhalla shirt refers to the work JJ Valhalla did while making making the merch for Rainbow Bridge 3, and also the work that him and Cemetery had done prior. Cemetery and Valhalla also collaborated on a pair of crust pants that you can see Cemetery wearing in some photo. $100 for a feature is how much Cemetery charged for a verse at one point. This became known when Angel Winter posted his song with Cemetery. Cemetery's Tumblr is still up, but there may have been an original Tumblr that was taken down. The only thing I could find about it was a Reddit post regarding the Tumblr's possible deletion. Cemetery, I believe, has a VK account. Uh, it is called Cemetery and Ghost Mountain, and it still posts updates, but I do not know if it was run by him or anybody in the Haunted Mound. Cemetery with three Ys was the original Twitter handle of Cemetery. However, it was deleted at some point for unknown reason. Starting off Tier 8, Orbs is the sixth track off of Grave House. Drunged remixes are similar to to drag remixes. There's apparently a drunk remix of Orbs, but I could also not find it. I could not find anything on ABMC Beef. Cop Killer OG may refer to a version of the song different from the one that was released in 2019. However, I could not find another version of the song at all. The Rare Cemetery verse may refer to this alone verse that Cemetery did on a song called These Hands by Cristallo Stone. The song was apparently up for only a day and taken down never to be seen again. Starting off tier 9, Instagram Lives or something similar Cemetery likes to do every now and again, and they have been memed on by the Haunted Mound community a little bit. They are known for their weird fan interactions, Cemetery getting pissed off by fans' comments and questions, and song snippets. They are pretty enjoyable to watch and have some pretty funny moments. Ego Mackie, deleted by Cemetery, refers to the song the Tudor artists have together titled Forever Box, is one of the infamous deleted songs and was deleted for unknown reasons. I don't exactly know what Haunted Mound essentials are, so refer to this flowchart found on the Haunted Mound subreddit. Unreleased beats refer to the amount of beats Cemetery has worked on that probably will never see the light of day. Rumors of a second Gravehouse tape being released were of immense speculation during
and Ghost Mountain's time in Haunted Mound. However, with his departure from the label, it is clear we may never get the sequel everyone had been hoping. Twitter snippet videos could refer to the snippets of songs and new music videos Cemetery and Haunted Mound are set to release. However, there could have been more that was deleted alongside Cemetery's old Twitter. Ghost Mountain Instagram Livestream Apparently, there was a Ghost Mountain IG Live at one point, however, footage of it has never surfaced anywhere. And finally, with Tier 10, the Warboy promo video is allegedly a lost promotional video for either the EP itself or the merch that came out for it. It is still unknown if it still exists or existed at all. YouTube live streams refer to live streams from members of the Haunted Mound. They are pretty obscure and none of them have ever surfed. The OG Cemetery shirt refers to another promo video for merch and is also considered lost media. Cemetery X High C was an alleged collab said to be in the works during the Rainbow Bridge 2 era between Cemetery and Tread Rap slash Reptilian Boys Club member High C. Apparently High C forgot to send his verse and the collab never happened. And finally, Ball Out followed Cemetery is a hoax regarding Glow Gang member Ball Out following Cemetery on Twitter. However, this never happened. And there you have it, the Haunted Mound Iceberg. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video tonight. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the bell notifications on if you did. And check me out in the social links below. I also have a Patreon that you can donate to. It's only $5 a month for one tier and you get access to everything that's on it. So please, if you like the channel and maybe want to support it a little bit more, then please feel free to do so. However, with that being said, this has been Yoshimi and have a great night.